Alrighty, so let's talk about Gutenberg as it relates to themes and plugins and just really quick short codes. Eventually, not right now, where Gutenberg isn't even released at the time of this video, but even when it is released, not all WordPress plugins, whatever you use, are going to immediately adapt. They'll probably be updating and releasing, hopefully as soon as possible, if not already by the time you're watching this, but the general idea that WordPress is taking is to have whatever you would throw in a blog post, whether that's a short code from a different plugin, like I'm about to show you in ConvertKit, or I don't know what plugins you use, but anything you would normally insert into a WordPress post, okay? All plugins are just gonna work, by the way. They're not gonna stop working with Gutenberg. They're gonna continue to work, but anything that would uh, you would specifically add JavaScript or short codes or custom HTML or anything like that into your actual post, into the actual WordPress editor right here, they're going to be going as blocks. Probably most developers are going to be changing their functionality to be blocks. Like maybe one day there will be a convert kit block. So I want to add like a convert kit form. I will say you can opt into my newsletter right here. Now in the future, I can't do it right now because convert kit hasn't made this, but whatever plugin you use, whether it's a, a podcast embed or some images or forms or whatever, um, they're gonna be blocks, probably in the future. So look for that functionality when they update. They'll probably send you emails, you'll be notified. But one day there might be a convert kit block. So I would search and just enter in my convert kit block. It would allow me to choose the form I wanted to display or whatever. Right now it's not there yet, but that's the way plugins are going. No plugins are gonna be like broken. This is no longer work. When it comes to Gutenberg, probably, I say all, but most will continue to work, uh, especially since you can add in short codes and custom HTML and code embeds in Gutenberg right now. You can do that. So here is my convert kit. I want to add this opt in form. I came down to embed. Um, convert kits always had these that I have the WordPress plugin, convert kit plugin already enabled. So I'm going to copy this. This is the short code, right? You guys know what short codes look like. I'm just going to paste it in there. I'll see what happens. Um, oops, that didn't work. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm just gonna paste it in this paragraph. You'll see what happened when I did that. Okay. I just, I was in a paragraph, uh, block, so to speak. I pasted in the, uh, convert kit short code. Gutenberg automatically changed the block. It's no longer a paragraph block. It is now a short code block. Pretty handy, right? Um, you can also add that in custom, of course. Let's use the backsplash, backsplash, black, bah, backslash hack, backslash shortcode. There it is right there. Click that. And now I can actually paste it in just like I did earlier, right? And move on. Now I'm going to have two when I do this. Let's remove this first one. That is a shortcode. They're really easy to add. Again, you can literally just, you don't have to choose the block. You could just type it in right here. Gutenberg does a pretty good job of realizing, hey, this is a short code, and it converts it automatically. Delete that, converts it, get it? I'm gonna save this, just preview what it looks like to make sure it works, I'm sure it will. And there it is, boom. You can opt into my newsletter right there, and here it is. Same thing for JavaScript and et cetera, et cetera. Let me go in here, do that. Let's delete this one. I wanna do it via JavaScript, first of all, do I even need to add the code? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to just copy this in or paste it in rather. Paste. Did I copy it? Doop, doop, doop. Sorry. Copy. Come back in here. Paste. It is not currently working. All right. Let's do code. Now let's paste it. All right. This is some more text just to see if that works. I'm going to save this. I'm going to preview it. And we're going to see if that JavaScript code works. Preview. Um, oh, no, it does not. That's because I used the wrong thing. So this just means I want to show code, make it look different, styled different on my website. I'm glad I pointed that out. Uh, let's add in another one, custom HTML. HTML, custom HTML. Now let's put it in there. I'm going to type that in, save it, and let's see if it pops up now. Boom, shaka, laka. There it is. Uh, that's a good point. I chose the wrong block there. Code just shows code. 
Like it actually displays that code that I pasted in there. It's a different a style differently. A lot of themes show that differently than just normal text. That's why it looks like that. Custom HTML, I just threw in the code right there. That works as well. So the short answer of really what I want to say is most plugins in the future will probably, this is what convert, uh, excuse me, this is what WordPress wants to happen, by the way. Most plugins are going to have their own blocks, kind of like widgets. You can just add in a, uh, I don't know, Libsyn podcasting block and then embed a Libsyn podcast episode or something like that. Or what else? I don't even know. Different forums from MailChimp or Drip or any other ESP email service provider. That stuff is eventually, probably, hopefully, going to be blocks that you can just insert. Oh, I need to insert my, um, gosh, I can't even think of landing page software right now. I don't know why. MailChimp, I need to do a MailChimp block. It'll be there or whatever, right? Different plugins where you have functionality to add stuff into the editor. Hopefully, they'll become blocks. For now, you can just literally paste in JavaScript code embeds or stuff like that under HTML. And for anything with short codes, you can just copy and paste this in. Gutenberg does a great job of figuring out, hey, this is a short code and it will convert whatever block you're in or assuming you're in a blank paragraph block like this, right? Oh, I didn't copy it. Oop, copy, come back over, paste, and it converted it to a short code block. That's it. Moving on to my recommendations in the next video.